It's a beautiful fall day in Annapolis, Maryland. I'm wearing the Train Collectors Association newspaper delivery bag. It's great for Christmas shopping or just carrying a lot of anything. Today it's carrying the Rock Island Railroad E8 diesel locomotive in the Patriotic Independence livery. We'll unbox this beautiful addition to this layout, check out all the details and features on this edition of Secondhand Trains. Hi Crab Cakes, I'm Emil Hanal, and this is Little Buddy, and this is another episode of Secondhand Trains on the Big Crab Cake channel, a channel dedicated to model cars, trains, and villages as one amazing hobby. If you like our channel and you want to see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button. It helps us. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. So what we have here today is a bag full of good stuff. It's our uh, newspaper delivery bag which turns out is fantastic for carrying long train boxes, especially when you're doing it at a train show and you've got a long way to go from the hall to your car. Having a big bag like this is fantastic. But these are also good for shopping at Christmas time when you go to the mall, have all those bags you can try to hang down. You can always shove them into this big bag, and throw them over your shoulder. It's a really good thing to have. So let's see what we got. Inside our newspaper delivery bag, we have the E8 B unit diesel and the, e, uh, the E8 A unit diesel of the Rock Island Railroad. The A and B unit are both, uh, in real life at least, powered units. But the A unit is the one in the front that has the, uh, sort of the driver's station where, uh, with the, where the engineer can run the train. Let's start off opening the A unit. We found these engines at the TCA York meet in York, Pennsylvania, and we got them in the Bob's Trains for You booth. These are used trains. See if they have nice, nice thick styrofoam packing uh, inside. We got the ribbons for helping get them out. And they also come with Extra, they look like little rubber bands, but these are drive wheels or traction wheels that you put on the metal wheels of the engine if they were to wear out. A uh, sample size of Proto Smoke Smoke made by MTH. An extra something else that I don't know what it is. That we'll have to find out. and a fixed coupler. So couplers are what connect engines to each other and engines to cars, and they open and close. Um, but you can get some that are fixed. In other words, they just, they don't open. And that makes them a little bit stronger. Some people like to do that. So we have that option. It also comes with an instruction manual. Nicely wrapped. The outer wrapping is plastic with an inner uh, soft material to protect the paint. You see here we have it. This is the Rock Island E8 diesel. It is an independence livery or independence paint job. I first saw this when it came out in a catalog that MTH put out a few years back prior to its production. And I was keeping my eyes open for them. I didn't pre-order one or order one. I never did see one in a hobby shop or at any of the train shows. And I kind of assumed that they just hadn't been made. Um, a lot of times that'll happen. A catalog will come out with a lot of different liveries and if there isn't interest much for a few of them, they won't produce them. I thought that might have been the case with this. And then I was at this most recent York train show and I actually saw two of them. One in one of the member halls, which was just the A unit. And then I saw this one at the Bob's Trains for You in the Orange Hall, which is the public hall that comes in the A and B unit. And I was really excited about that. Bob, the owner of the, of the store, made us a really good deal and we brought it back. This train looks absolutely brand new. Um, it has 
It was only used, I think, something less than 10 hours. Maybe not even, maybe not even that. Let's check out the B unit. In a real train, the B unit is also powered. Uh, the only difference, as you'll see, is that the B unit doesn't have the driver's area. So there it is. It's very large and it's going to look fantastic on our layout. This engine has a lot of features and the best way to show you those features is to put it on a layout and run them. So let's do that. Here are the startup sounds. There's a horn. And also a bell. There are custom passenger freight announcements. Rock Island Railroad E8 diesel A and B unit in the Independence livery is a fantastic addition to our collection and it looks great running. Uh, it was a good find. I was so happy to find this and uh, it's just another example of a way to find secondhand trains. In this case, you can find them at train shows. We've got a lot happening in the coming weeks with lots of things to show you and talk about. So, Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the upcoming episodes. That'll do it for this edition of Secondhand Trains. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time on the Big Crab Cake channel.